Welcome back. Happy Saturday Swatch Fest day. I'm so glad you're here. I hope you're glad that I'm here. I'm ready to swatch for you and we're going to have some fun looking at random polishes that are from my untried portion of my collection. So, yes. Happy Saturday. I hope you're having a great weekend everybody. I hope the weather isn't too crazy on you right now. I know we've been having some rainy days, some snowy days. Hope none of you are getting too down in the dumps. Just shoot me a note in the comments. Say hey, let me know you're having a hard time and we can talk about it. Um, I want to share my love with you. I want to share my love of polish with you. And we can chat about that today and hopefully that will cheer you up. So we are going to look at some rather interesting polish today. I have some few oldies from my collection that have been needing to be shown. And um, yeah, some good stuff here I think. So I'm ready to get going. I wanted to tell you what's on my lips. First off, this is one of the Jordana Modern Mattes. This is in the shade Caliente. This is um, a really nice bright <laughs> orangey pink, or orangey red, excuse me, it's not pink. Um, so yeah, and this goes on pretty easily and for the price, I really do like these guys. So um, yeah, that's what that looks like. All right, so let's kick things off with red. Now, my red polish today is one that we've all seen around for what has it been like almost a whole year now? Um, this is OPI Icing in Color from the original Gwen Stefani collection that had, what was it, like six polishes in it and they all had these interesting tops. Um, this is basically just a very deep blood red. This is like as deep as you can go and barely be able to tell that you are wearing a red, not a black. Um, <clears throat> it's really pretty. It's not necessarily my cup of tea. It's not really, um, a color I enjoy wearing that much. If I'm going to wear like a really deep color, I usually tend not to wear like something like bloody red. <laughs> However, um, I, you know, I do feel like it has its time and its place and I'm glad that I picked it up. I did snatch this when it was on clearance. Um, I don't know if you can still find these ones at Sally's on clearance, but um, they were on clearance for a real long time. This is the one of the ones that did not get um, sold out very quickly. So I don't know if um, maybe a lot of people felt the same, that this was kind of a little bit of off color, but um, the formula is nice. So anyway, I'm gonna show it to you. Maybe this is gonna be your new favorite. So let's take a look. for pink today we are looking at this super super bright pink um, from China Glaze called Escaping Reality. This one as you can see is not just like a basic pink, it leans a little bit blue. So um, I really like that about it and it does dry like a little bit like satiny or matty. So if you don't like that you'll probably want to top coat it but I like it because of that of course. So um, anyway yeah I thought that this one was nice. Um, it's just you know it's a pink so it's okay. Anyway, this was from the um, Cirque du Soleil collection, which I actually didn't pick up any of it originally because I wasn't like crazy gung-ho about collecting every China Glaze polish at that time. Um, but I do have quite a bit from this collection now, and I think that that whole collection is really fun. So anyway, let's see how this one swatches.
Okay, so I've mentioned before how I really don't have that much orange nail polish and what I have has actually already been um, put in swatch vests. And if you're new to my channel or even if you've been around here for a while and you're thinking, well, she hasn't really done that many swatch vests. Um, how could she have gone through all of her orange polish? Well, it's because a whole year before I started doing swatch fests on my channel, I was doing swatch fests on my blog, and so they have actually all been vlogged about. And it was just recently that I started doing swatch fests on my channel. So, anyway, if you're ever interested in my blog, it's listed, it's always listed in the description bar. And in case you're wondering, the reason why it says glimpses of the, of the moon at the beginning of all my videos is because that's the name of my blog. And I was blogging for a while before I started this channel. So, in case you were ever wondering, like, why does it say that? <laughs> um, so anyway, I've mentioned before that I don't have very many oranges. And so again this week, I'm not really doing an orange polish in this category, but it's a red and gold polish. So if you put those together, you get orange, right? It counts. Um, anyway, this is a finger paints polish that I picked up, I think, when I was visiting my parents. So I have no idea. I found it in a bargain bin. I don't know what collection it came from or anything, but it's called Stardust Blush, and it's a textured polish. It's what I have on my nails today, and it's a pretty good mixture of gold and red. You can see the gold clearly. You can see the red clearly. Um, it's really pretty. I mean, I feel like maybe it's probably a more of a holiday polish, but, you know, if you just really like wearing gold and red, well, then this is just perfect for you, especially if you like textured polish. So, um, I... the the specific bottle that I picked up though, the brush was kind of wonky and this polish was a little bit thick. So you'll probably see that in the live application, but I do still want to share it with you because that's what I do at Saturday Swatch Fest. We just talk about random polish. So let's take a look. yellow I have a yellow to show you today even though it's one of the other colors that I don't have very much of I picked this one up a while ago at an Ulta this is covergirl um, the XL nail gel line in the color hotty lemon and this is like hotty like oh I'm just like better than everybody else that kind of hotty so um, yeah I picked this up to see what the dealio was with this XL nail gel I know that they sell for like eight dollars plus at CVS so I've never wanted to pay down the buckaroos um, to try this out but it was like three dollars at Ulta so long story short this one was actually great I thought that they did a great job for a yellow polish it's actually kind of hard to do in my experience you know, oh, I have so much experience, no. But from what I've seen, um, a lot of yellow polishes have a little bit hard time with the formula. This one wasn't perfection, but I thought it was really nice, especially for a drugstore brand, and it has this really subtle golden shimmer running all throughout it, like really, really small shimmer. So, um, yeah, I liked it. I don't know if because it's an Ulta bin, maybe they're getting rid of these XL nail gels. I mean, they're so, they're so big and bulky and they're actually only um, 13 milliliters, so they're not even as big as like a China Glazer OPI, they just have this really big bottle. I'm sure because of the name XL Nail Gel, but anyway, um, the marketing people in these companies, you know, always trying to do something to make more money. So anyway, <laughs> what we're actually here to do is look at this little lady. So let me show you how she swatches.
Alright, another drugstore nail polish. Um, for green, I'm going to be showing you Revlon Brilliant Strength in the shade Enthrall. And this is a gorgeous deep olive with tons of silver shimmer and uh, it's super, super pretty. And I love the formula on these guys. I think I picked this up at a Big Lots um, because they often do have Revlon polishes clearance there and I'm really glad that I did because it's lovely and pretty and I know it's not really springtime appropriate but it's still winter in a lot of places it's not really exactly spring yet right so whether it is this season appropriate or not I'm going to show you live application of it and let's take a look Alright, for blue, I'm very excited to show you this polish because it blew my socks off this week. This is American Apparel Mount Royal and just look at this deep blue. It actually feels like it has a lot of purple in it. It's like a dusty blurple. So I've said it before, I really like American Apparel formula. Um, I did receive this as a gift from Jessica. She knows what's up. This brand is so good and um, yeah. I just loved it. This one was pretty much gonna be my um, A plus polish of the week until I tried another polish <laughs> this week and I just couldn't help myself and so this was runner up but I really love it. Let me show you how gorgeous it is on the nail. All right, for purple, I decided to go ahead and swatch Sylvia this week. This is that um, julep polish that I picked up in um, a TJ Maxx a little while ago. And I was talking about how cute the name is and that that's my uh, son's bus driver's name. I wanted to see how this polish was. Um, it's actually was not that great, unfortunately. Um, it didn't have the best formula, but the thing of it is, is like there's so many polishes out there that are this color. Um, that you're really, you know, you could, there's a lot of other ones you can pick up. This one um, was a little bit patchy. It didn't really go on that quite that well. For a color that's this dark, you know, it'd probably be pretty easy for them to just make this a one coater. Mm, but it was a little patchy and runny and messy. So, anyway, not my favorite, but I do really like the color and the name of this polish. So I'm going to show you what it looks like in two coats. For neutral today, I'm going to show you an Avon gel finish polish in the shade Iceberg. This is one that I've been using for nail art lately and I really, really love it. This was another gift to me from Jessica and it has just a fabulous formula. I've mentioned it before in another nail art video how great it is. It's pretty much a one coater and for a white that's just amazing. It's replaced all the other whites for me right now for my favorite white polish and yeah. Got to get you some of this. This is just fabulous. So let me show you.
All right, so for glitter, I'm going to be showing you a Sinful Colors polish. I have so much Sinful Colors polish to show you because like a crazy person, person, like a crazy person, I pick up Sinful Colors polish because it's very inexpensive and it's not always the best, but sometimes you'll happen on one that's just as good as a high price polish and so you'll be really happy you tried it. So. Yes, I do have a lot of Sinful Colors polish to get through. I'm going to be showing you the polish Hottie. And this one is this gorgeous, like, it's just, I really like this shade of blue. However, this is a, like a jelly base with tons of shimmer and like holographic iridescent glitter pieces in it. And it's really, really pretty, but I actually, I had a hard time getting this opaque, so I much prefer this as a topper. Um, it looks especially good um, over Miami Heat, but I'm going to swatch it over one of the polishes I've showed you here today um, in the live application so that you can see. But yeah, it's really, really pretty. So anyway, if you were ever wondering what this polish was about, well, today's your lucky day. I'm going to show you. Okay, it's finally time for my A plus polish of the week. Um, every time I come to this polish, I always feel like such a dork because I'm always like, these A plus polishes are the ones that just like raise my temperature. They get my blood going and I feel like such a weirdo for getting so like, um, What's the word? For getting worked up. That's the word I'm looking for. For getting worked up over a nail polish. But thankfully, all of you know exactly what I'm talking about when I get worked up and you are familiar with that feeling. So, anyway, the polish that I am featuring today for my um, A plus polish is Zoya Savita. And this was from the uh, Matte Velvet collection and not one of the ones that I picked up originally because I thought, oh, it's just a purple. Um, but after I found out how gorgeous the green and the red were in that collection, when I found this little lady on clearance, I snatched her up and she is so gorgeous. She's gorgeous as a matte, satin matte, and she is so gorgeous with top coat on. So, so, so pretty. Um, I'm so in love with this polish. If you guys find it, please pick it up. It's so, there's so much dimension in there. I just love the way that they did these matte velvets because they're just filled with all that very subtle, um, shimmer and just ugh, the luster you guys <laughs> I'm going a little nuts over this polish what I need to do is just show you how it looks on the nail and you can see for yourself so I hope you love this one as much as I do let's look at it If you've been wondering about the screaming all throughout this video, my daughter's right outside there tossing the ball with the dog and she thinks that it's appropriate to scream at the top of her lungs at the dog. So um, anyway, we have reached the end of our swatch fest. Those were all 10 polishes. Did you agree with me? Did you think that Zoya Savita was the best of the bunch or was there another one that was better? What was your favorite A-plus polish of the week? I love you guys. I thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for stopping in every Saturday and being excited with me for Saturdays. I'm excited for Saturdays, and it's just always amazing to me how many of you also look forward to Saturdays to spend this time with me and talk a little polish and have a little bit of fun. So 
I hope this made your day even better than it was before. And yes, thank you for spending some time with me. I love you all. I will see you back very soon. And until then, um, know that you are loved. Stay safe. Be kind to everyone. And yeah, I'll see you back next time. Bye.